Nancy here. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been, you guys. All right, so this video is going to be my entire bag collection video. You guys, all right, so <laughs> let me just first and foremost say, you better like, comment, share, <laughs> and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Because when I tell you after the work that I have put in to do this video with these bags, it's a lot of work, but I'm doing it for you guys, all right? Because I literally have done my Tory Burch collection, my Kate Spade collection, my Coach collection, um, I believe my Louis Vuitton collection, but I have not done an entire bag collection video. So either which way, I am just gonna get into it. I am just going to literally tell you all the bags that I have, you guys. Um, if you want to, I will definitely try to put up cards when it comes to some of my bags. If you want like full on reviews on the bags or what fits. Um, and if you want like a what fits in the bag itself, I am going to try to do a lot more shorts, um, a lot more reels on Instagram. If you don't follow me, go ahead and follow me over there about what fits in my bag with all of these bags. I'm definitely going to start using a lot more of these bags because I'm sure a lot of you either have not seen these bags in a while from the time you've been following me or a lot of you who've just started to follow me have not seen these bags at all, all right? So some of these are limited edition. Some of these bags are from brands that are no longer um, around anymore, but either which way, if they're not, you can always get them on the secondhand market, you guys. Never just go off of what you either don't see or what's there or whatever like that. So yes, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it because it's been a long day. <laughs> Battery died several times and I lost the light. So hopefully the lighting is good with my ring light that I have, with the lighting that's up here, and the camera and everything like that is angled correctly. So either which way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna let you know that there's nothing that I'm pulling out that's like, oh, these are my favorites, whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm literally just going down a list from what I wrote down um, to kind of tell you guys about the bags that I have. Some of the names I can't really remember. I mean, for the most part, pretty obvious tote bags, so on and so forth. But um, I think for the most part, I'm kind of going with the bags that I probably have less of. Um, and then basically what I can reach for or whatever like that, all right? So that's what we're doing, that's how we're doing it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so first up is going to be the bag that I recently just purchased. Um, I got this for my birthday, around my birthday. My mom um, basically gifted this to me, so I'm really excited about this bag. It's a really cute bag. Um, I got it during, I will tell you that I got it during the um, Nordstrom anniversary sale, and um, it sold out pretty quickly. Like I said, I put this on my Instagram stories. Um, I put a link there, and a lot of people kind of went to it, so definitely when I put a link up, go to it before it sells out, you guys. And that is the biggest purpose of following me on Instagram because you never know what you will see, what you will find, and you'll probably see a lot of things first over there before you see it here. So go ahead and follow me over on Instagram, you guys. We're having a lot of fun over there, all right? I'll leave the link below. That way you can just click, follow, and you're good, all right? So first bag, Kurt Geiger, and this is the drawstring bucket bag. All right, so that was like my first Kurt Geiger um, bag ever. So that is the first bag from Kurt Geiger in my collection. And that is the only bag I have from Kurt Geiger. So we're gonna move on. All right, next we're moving on to Longchamp, you guys. So with the Longchamp, I have about three bags um, from Longchamp. This particular one I got this year, and I think it's really, really cute. I just love how it looks. I think it's a great bag for like New Year's going out, so on and so forth. But this is the Longchamp Les Pliage Collection Pouch. All right, so this one I recently actually just picked up as well during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, you guys. So this is the Longchamp Les Pliage um, tote bag, and it's the extra, extra small nano tote bag. All right, so this one is actually going to be the Longchamp Le Pliage tote bag in a size small. All right, you guys, so moving on to Michael Kors. So this right here is my Michael Kors Eva embroidered denim tote bag. All right, so this key right here is actually my Michael Kors hobo bag, and this bag was a gift, once again, from my mom for my birthday. Um, so... 
she knows me <laughs> she knows what I like um, and I don't actually have a hobo bag so when I got this one I thought it was really really cute um, and stylish so yeah all right you guys so the last Michael Kors bag is going to be this Michael Kors tote bag um, this bag has been through a lot it's held up pretty nicely I think the straps have actually been through it more <laughs> because I literally used this bag to death um, this was my work bag and it was literally my favorite go-to work bag so it's a great bag it holds a lot the straps hold up very well and I have no complaints okay so actually that was not my last <laughs> Michael Kors bag I actually have the Michael Kors Mercer tote and it's a really small tote it's yellow it's pebbled leather it has feet at the bottom um, I went to my mom's I literally ran out of room in my suitcase so I left it there because I'm constantly going over there anyway so I just figured you know what I leave it there in the event that I need to use it it's there I think I left another bag or whatever like that but I will insert a picture that way you can get an idea of what it looks like um but once again if you've been following me for a while then you would have seen this tote bag all right you guys so next in the collection we're going to go with Henry Bendel um if any of you out there are familiar with Henry Bendel you know that they are no longer around they close I want to say about like I think like six or seven years ago if I'm not mistaken um it's crazy that it's been about that long but I know it's been at least about four or five years um since they closed their doors um but they have these beautiful brown and white stripes um I like the bags I like everything that they had I didn't get a chance to get everything that I wanted when they were closing but I did get enough um, my mom purchased a few things as well or whatever like that but the one thing I did get that I really really wanted so <laughs> this is actually my Henry Bendel duffel bag um, I love this bag you guys um, I think I've used it once and I haven't used it since so it's literally collecting dust and I think I've just been afraid to use it along with a lot of my other Henry Bendel bags because there's no one and there's no place to take it to in the event that you know it gets messed up or whatever and there are a few of my Henry Bendel bags as far as like the buttons that have been getting messed up and you know it's just been making me nervous to use it I'm sure I can take it somewhere and have it like you know fixed or whatever like that but with this one yeah <laughs> all right so next is actually my Henry Bendel um, jet setter convertible crossbody bag all right so next is this Henry Bendel taxi pouch all right so keeping with that theme <laughs> because I think we went to the mall one time um and I saw this in the window and they were literally closing I don't know if I knew that they were closing just yet but we went by my husband saw it and he was like I know you like that bag because again I like really quirky bags when it comes to like my purses and everything like that that's why I love Kate Spade because they do those type of um, novelty bags or whatever so either which way I saw this cute little taxi bag um, so this is the Henry Bendel taxi tote bag and then they had this really cute light all right so because it's so old right now I think it just kind of like died or whatever like that when it comes to the batteries but either which way the light came on this is a cute little like keychain or whatever like that um so I thought that was cute so all right so I know this is not an accessories video but I did have to show you because like I said they were going out of business and it was literally right around that Christmas time so what I picked up was this really cute ornament um I try not to use her too often I do actually if I'm going to use her, I actually bring her out and I put her on my Christmas tree that goes in my room because I know it's not going to, you know, really get mishandled or anything like that because it's not, you know, in a common area where everybody's like around or whatever like that. So I actually tend to just put this cutie on my tree and she's safe and she's good to go. I actually also have, which I believe I packed away, um, a stocking <laughs> that goes on the tree as well. And that's in the Henry Bendel brown and white stripe. And I got like a little sleep mask, a wallet, which again, like I said, if something happens to it, you're just out of luck because they no longer have a Henry Bendel. So this snap right here actually broke into itself. So that's why I don't use it anymore. But I also have a passport holder. So 
yeah. All right, you guys, so I am a huge fan of the Jet Setter. Um, I wish I would have gotten a chance to get a lot more of them because I think this bag is really, really cute. Next is another Jet Setter bag, and this bag is actually a little bit bigger. I love the blush color. Um, the only thing, like I said, was that I use this bag a lot, so you can see where it started to kind of like come apart from the snap closure. So I tend to stop using this as much because I don't want anything to happen to it. But again, I use this a lot. I actually use it all the time as a book bag. Um, but again, there's so many different ways now that you can see the strap that you can use this bag. Um, but again, I use it as a book bag and it held so much. All right, so my next bag is going to be this Henry Bendel book bag. Like I said, you guys, I picked up a few things. I know there are a lot of people who picked up a lot of things. I didn't get my hands on the suitcase. I wish I had, but this book bag came in handy. I use this a lot to travel with. Um, if I was going someplace, you know, that I didn't really need too much or whatever. I think when I went to go visit my daughter when she was in college, I took this bag because the airlines that I took, I used this as my um, personal bag. So yeah. All right, so because <laughs> I literally liked the book bags, and how strong they were and literally the usage of them. I actually got a really small one. This is the Henry Bendel Splatter book bag and I liked it so much so that I actually got a little like carry, like a cosmetic pouch. Um, I gave this to my daughter when she was like, you know, in elementary school to kind of just put her things in there if she needed it you know whatever but you could tell I got a lot of usage because it is very faded we watched it a few times but yeah all right you guys so last but not least um is my Henry Bendel I believe it's gonna be the rock star um satchel of course you can see the little studs on here the little rock and roll glasses or whatever like that but I think this is really cute it's I mean it has a strap but it's not too long. So if and when I use this bag, it was always as a top handle because it's just something cute. All right, you guys, so next is actually Burberry. This is the only Burberry bag that I actually have. Um, I haven't really seen too many that I like. I think that's probably why I haven't gravitated to Burberry. Um, I think in back in the day amongst other things and whatever like that, but at the time I got this during um, Christmas, it was definitely under a thousand. I'm sure it's definitely hiked up by now, but this is going to be the um, Burberry crest embroidered tote bag. All right, next you guys is going to be YSL. I actually have two bags from YSL. Um, I definitely have my eye on a few more bags from Saint Laurent. So I don't know when I'm going to get my hands on them. Hopefully I can before the prices go up, but you guys will definitely be the first <laughs> to see it. Um, so this particular bag, literally you guys, was like under $100. It is still very much a cute little tote bag. I think they have this little collection that they have different sayings on them. Um, so you have the Saint Laurent right here at the bottom. And then this particular bag, the saying is everything now. And I think they come out with a different saying every single year. I like the bag. I wanted to pick it up before they sold out because I think their other bags normally do. But again, it's under $100. All right, so the next bag is actually going to be a bag that you guys would have seen a video on. Um, if you haven't and you want to see the review on this bag, I'll go ahead and put a card above. Um, but this is going to be my Saint Laurent Leather Shopper Tote. All right, so this particular bag is really, really cute. I love this bag, it's very sentimental. Um, this bag right here is from Nine West. Um, my husband bought this for me, you guys, and I am a sucker for leopard print, zebra print, um, tiger print, like, I don't know, my sister makes fun because I guess she feels like the only people who loves prints like this are people from Jersey and I'm from Jersey. <laughs> so either which way, I guess I fit in. But yeah, this is the cutest bag. It's a great going out bag. Um, and you can actually just kind of make a statement with it. You can have an all black attire and then just kind of like put this for, you know, your little color or whatever. So yeah. All right, you guys. So the next bag is actually going to be my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Um, I did a video on this as well. I believe it's an older video telling you about this bag, you guys. And I recently did a newer video about my top 10 tote bags in my collection that I really, really love, that I gravitate to. Um, and this bag is one of them. All right, so the next brand, you guys, is going to be MCM. This particular bag is actually going to be the MCM Patricia Patton Leather 
shoulder bag you guys all right you guys so the next bag and do not judge me because i have no idea what's going on with this i don't know if it's just it's been in hiding for so long um i loved this bag when i first got it i actually still do and for the longest time i actually used this little pouch because this pouch can be used so many different ways you can put it over your shoulder um or you can kind of just rock it just like this so this was a really cute bag you had like a two-in-one when it comes to this bag so this is actually the mcm iridescent clear tote bag okay so next is gucci you guys so i have a few bags from gucci and i'm gonna start off with this particular bag um i did actually um give one gift one to my mom um so hopefully she's getting some usage out of that one so this particular bag is going to be the gucci gg marmont mart lycee shoulder bag next is the very popular Gucci Soho Disco, you guys. The Soho Disco um, came in three colors, which was this beautiful red, it came in black, and it came in a beige color. Um, I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys out there, but I do believe at some point they were discussing discontinuing the Soho. Um, I'm not sure if they have yet. I'm not sure if they just kind of like stop making certain colors if there's only one or two colors left um but again I just have to go on and look I haven't just yet or whatever like that but um I was always thinking about getting the black um because it can be useful you know no matter where you went or whatever like that okay so this is actually the Gucci Ophidia pouch um and I know I keep repeating <laughs> the name of the brands or whatever like that but I figure you know what it gives it what it's supposed to give because I'm literally telling you the brand name as well as the actual name for the particular bag that I'm showing you. But either which way, you guys, let me know if that irritates you. I'm sure this will go up before you tell me, but you can leave it in the comment. That way, if I do happen to do another updated bag collection video, you guys can let me know and I won't do that. I'll just tell you what the brand is, what we're going into, and then I'll tell you just the name of it. So just to kind of like, you know, save on time as well. But this is the Ophidia pouch it was a very very popular pouch um once again i wanted to get my hands on it before they discontinued it i think they still have it if i'm not mistaken or if they do it's kind of just reimagined and it's just a little bit different um i did see one where it had kind of like a handle at the top but this one is really cute all right next you guys is actually going to be my um gg mormont matali say <laughs> shoulder bag with the Sylvie Webb. So I purchased this because I actually really, really liked the strap on this one. Um, the only thing is with that particular strap and the hook itself, it does come unbuckled from the D-ring. And I think that was the biggest um, con, like the biggest gripe that a lot of people had when it came to this particular bag. So I think it didn't really fare well with a lot of people. Also, a lot of people don't like <laughs> the heart on the back of these um, Matalise collections. Um, I don't know why it didn't bother me, um, but... I didn't have any issues with it. All right, so next is going to be my Gucci Super Mini crossbody bag, you guys. All right, so the very last thing for Gucci is going to be my Gucci GG Supreme Bees Tote. I love this bag. All right, you guys, so next we are reaching for coach because it's literally right here all right so that's what we're gonna do this right here was actually i used it as my school bag because i felt like it held so much and it did what it needed to do and i actually stuffed this bag i put a lot of stuff in here heavy books you know some lunch or whatever like that but this is actually the 1941 horse and carriage tote so we're going with the obvious right now, you guys. <laughs> so if you literally have been following me for a while, you would have seen me literally purchase um, this bag. It's very popular. I think I put it on my TikTok or whatever. Um, I did like a little reel with it as well, if I'm not mistaken, or whatever like that. But it is the completely popular Coach Pillow tabby i did get it in the smaller version which is the pillow tabby 18 in the cream color 
Um, and I really like that. I think my only gripe, honestly, and I need to really just call my coach store, is that with my pink pillow tabby, I happened to find the hang tag, but I did wind up losing because it came off, and I don't know why, the actual chain part to hold on to it. So I'm just glad I was able to find the hang tag itself because it's also in like that pillow material because I would have been really upset or whatever. But either which way, I picked up the... Coach Pillow Tabby in the size 18 in the cream color. Liked it so much, I picked it up in the silver. All right, so I picked up not one, but two pouches. So these are actually um, two Coach pouches that I picked up. As you can see, yes, I have yet to use this one, <laughs> but I really like the way you actually can lock the pouch. So if you definitely want to use it, and I like the fact that it actually still has... Um, an interior zipper. All right, so this is actually going to be uh, my Riventon pouch. This right here, you guys, my next bag is going to be my trail bag. This is going to be Coach by Selena. All right, so this is my Coach Cassie. So I liked it so much so that I went ahead and got the Cassie C19. Um, this right here is actually the bag that comes with three different um, stripes. I love the gold chain that it has. And then you have a top handle, and it also has a longer strap that you can use as a shoulder bag or you can easily use as a crossbody bag. All right, so this is the Willis top handle bag, you guys. All right, next, you guys, is actually going to be the Coach Sarah. All right, so next, when it comes to Coach, you guys, is actually going to be the Coach Hero. All right, so how I normally do, <laughs> I liked it so much so that I went ahead and purchased another one um, just in the smaller because for me, I always feel like you can always go a little bit smaller when it comes to bags because at the end of the day, you don't need a bigger bag all the time and you never know, you might be wanting to go out on the town, dinner, like I said, date night, girls night, whatever, and all you need is a smaller bag. So yes, this is a Coach Hero and this is actually in the color Papaya. All right, so I actually have, um, it's actually an older bag and it is the Legacy Bleaker Weekender bag. It's the Coach bag. Um, I will go ahead and I'm going to put up a picture of how it normally looks, <laughs> but uh, mine is definitely so worn. I literally used it for work. Um, when we're going out and about, I used it for, you know, the kids um, to kind of pack stuff in there. And I actually traveled with it as well. It went under the seats. It went under... It went in the overhead compartment or whatever like that. Like, I stuffed it underneath. The bag is a good bag. It holds up. It's a great bag. Um, but I'll try to do, like, a what's in my bag when it comes to that bag and how I would stuff it. But for the most part, if you want to see that particular one, then just keep on following me. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, you guys. It's a little kind of, like, break in between showing you the bags because that way I can show you what fits in that weekender because they have... You know updated the weekender bag or whatever like that and they're really nice still a really great leather still holds up um but mine's been through a lot so they try to clean it as much as they could can't really do too much about it um and i love the color so at the time that i got it i think it was like under a thousand or whatever like that because it is a big type of duffel bag traveling bag whatever like that so it's a really good bag but um yeah i will all right you guys next is chanel okay so, if you would have seen in the back, if you were kind of like peeking around to kind of see what I have, um, you would have seen this bag just kind of like standing on the boxes. And this is my Chanel Duville um, shopping bag. This bag is really nice. I normally hold her in the crook of my arm um, or as a top handle. Um, I, every once in a while, will take out the um, shoulder straps and use it like that. But for the most part... I tend to just hold her um, in my hand and she still serves her purpose. So, all right. So next is actually the bag that I'm actually happy that I picked up <laughs> because I was not going to because, you know, this bag is a lot. <laughs> all right. This bag is a lot. So either which way, <laughs> I was not going to pick it up, but I'm glad that I did because it definitely would have held um, its weight. 
So as you guys all know, Chanel has definitely increased their prices when it comes to, I guess really across the board, but definitely the bag that is on everybody's mind that has definitely had an increase over the years is the Chanel double flap. And this is what this is. Um, it's a double flap because of course you have the one and you have the two. So that's what makes it a double flap. Um, all right, you guys. So next is going to be Louis Vuitton. Okay, so let's get into her. So this is actually my Louis Vuitton corsette. Next is actually a limited edition drop with Louis Vuitton. This particular bag is actually going to be the um, Boet Chapeau Souple. Okay, so next, because it's just right here, and actually this is what I am using currently right now, because I switched out of my um, Longchamp Les Pliages um, Extra Extra Small tote bag, um, I needed to just put a little bit more items in here. So this is actually the Louis Vuitton Neverfold in the PM size in the Damir Ibin color. All right, <laughs> all right. Not too much to say about it. You guys, have I've literally done... Um, several videos on this cutie so definitely go and subscribe you guys because you will definitely get all of the videos pop up for you once you hit the bell and you click all that way you're notified every single time that I upload that way I don't miss you you don't miss me and we're here right that you're gonna miss it you did it so either which way subscribe you guys all right because why not why not? And right now, I think if I'm not mistaken, I am sitting at 1,690 of you subscribers, which I love, I appreciate, and I am very much grateful for, okay? Every single time I see that number go up, I say welcome. I appreciate you guys. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy all of the videos, everything that I have to give to you and provide for you because that's what we're doing here, all right? So I'm definitely trying to do that a little bit more and then literally just take you along with me wherever I go, all right? But I am actually trying to get to 2,000. So 2,000 subscribers. I don't think that's very far off because, you know, I can hit different milestones as we go along. But literally, you guys, I am only needing 310 more subscribers to get to 2,000 subscribers. And I think we could do that. I think we could do that before the end of the year, probably by even October, you guys. All right. So let's see where we get from there. Go ahead and tell everybody. Go ahead and subscribe. Head on over to Instagram and follow me over there. All right. So the goal, the goal is 2,000, 2,000. All right. So we are only 310 away because I try to set little tiny goals for myself. And I don't really think it's a little because it's a lot. But I am looking to grow and expand and just grow with you guys. 310 of you, okay? That's all we need more to add to our family. To add and put you on the wheel. All right? All right. Let's go. All right. I don't think this bag needs any introduction, but if you're not familiar with her, I will go ahead and let you know that this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. All right, so you already saw the baby, the sister, so now you're seeing the middle sibling, which is actually the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size, and this is going to be in the Damir Azor print. Okay, so next is actually the um, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier. Okay, so next, last, but certainly not least, this is the one. <laughs> this is my baby. So this is the Louis Vuitton on the go, and she definitely serves her purpose. I tell this story all the time. I had to wait for her for like two months when I first ordered her because I think when they planned and put this out, they were not expecting the amount of people, the response that they got for this on the go. Like everybody wanted it or whatever like that. So, you know, since then they've come out with smaller versions of them, which I think I am looking into getting a smaller version. Just don't know which one just yet. But so far... This has served its purpose. I travel with her all the time. All right, so next, you guys, we are moving on to Kate Spade. Um, just kind of like a forewarning, if you guys have been keeping up and counting the amount of bags that I have, Kate Spade is actually one of my favorite brands. Hopefully, if they are listening, we can do like a collab or whatever like that because that would definitely be um, my 
dream collab because I love Kate Spade and then it's like Coach and then it's like Toy Birch and then you know so on and so forth like I love all my bags itself but I think Kate Spade has to be my favorite but yeah let's right. go so I'm literally gonna grab and then I'm just gonna move over here that way I, I have no more room on the floor I really don't but um, either which way this is actually and I did a video and you guys loved this video when I first did it this is actually the um Kate Spade mini margo in the color forest green and i liked her so much that i got it in red all right so once again a kate spade mini margo all right so this is actually the sam and the pebbled leather tote bag so this one is the kate spade sam see-through bag okay so this is the mini kaylee crossbody bag all right so this one is the haze bucket bag and i think it's really cute um so i like the way it kind of has almost like a two-in-one but yeah so this is one of the novelty bags i was referring to because kate spade tends to do this a lot and i really really like it but this is a wicker camera bag from kate spade all right, so another novelty bag <laughs> is going to be this Out of the Woods Nadia Fox bag. Comes with a crossbody strap, so you don't have to worry about that. It is a little bit hard to get into, but I mean, for the most part, you're not really doing too much with the bag itself. It doesn't have any interior pockets, but I don't think you really need it. So this is actually the Kate Spade camera bag. Right, so this was a newer purchase um recently from not too recently but recently enough um but this right here is the flower jacquard satchel so i've been buying kate spade for a while because this is when they used to actually have the brown bags and then they switched off to like white and then i think they're now with like the pink bags whatever like that so i've gone through my stages of kate spade so that tells you a lot all right <laughs> all right so either which way i think this has to be one of my favorite and probably oldest um kate spade bags like i said you have the brown um dust bag or whatever i like this bag because it just holds so much and the way it holds everything so you can actually put items in here um put items in here and then fold it down and you're good to go but this is pebbled leather this is just a regular um, crossbody bag I do not remember the name of it because it's just that old this particular bag is actually a tote bag and this is the um, Kate Spade that's bananas bag once again I got this for my birthday from my mom she knows what I like the crazy part is really quick story I was looking at this particular bag you guys and I don't know what it was I think I just didn't have the money at the time to get it and I was like ah, eh, I don't need it it's not important and then for some reason my birthday came around and my mom sent this to me and I was like I was literally looking at this bag online and she was like seriously I was like yes <laughs> so either which way it's like she read my mind and she got this and I really liked it because again I like different bags but it's a cute bag it's held up and I've used it so much all right so speaking of another novelty bag really quickly and i tend not to use this one as much because of just how fragile it is and i think i got like some makeup on it or whatever but this is actually the kate spade newspaper bag um i did buy a separate um chain for this one to go with it and i think at the time when i first purchased it they didn't have it in a bag or anything like that they just gave it to me on the floor i wasn't too much um happy about that but when i took it back they went ahead and replaced it gave me a brand new one that's why it's still in the bag but it's a clutch this literally is a clutch and like i said i actually purchased um a chain to go with it so I use it as a shoulder bag if need be but it is the cutest clutch ever all right next is the um, Margot convertible crossbody bag um, in the yellow color and I'm saying that because I actually have her in lavender all right so this cutie is actually the Romy croc embossed mini so this cutie i actually purchased during um i think it was christmas i can't remember when and this is actually the um, berry blitz sam fluffy medium crossbody tote so yeah this is a sam fluffy um and i literally am all about this and how it feels so 
it's adorable it makes a statement and it's cute all right so last but not least this is my um carson cobble hill shoulder bag so all right so we're almost down to the wire you guys all right so next up is telfar all right so i actually have like four telfar bags and for the most part it's all just kind of like shopping bags they do have like some duffels and everything like that some circle bags i've never been able to get my hands on it because you guys know it sells out so quickly um and honestly all of the bags that i have when it comes to telfar my husband has been able to get them i've never been lucky to get them i don't know why and i think my daughter was actually lucky to get one which she purchased a smaller one um, for me. And you'll see that in just a minute. But husband got this one for me. This is the medium shopping bag. Um, and it's all like vegan um, leather material and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, right, so I pushed everything a little bit further <laughs> so I can get to it pretty quickly. But um, this is the Telfar in the small shopping bag. Um, and this is going to be in the color green screen. So my last two um, Telfar bags, this is the one I was talking about. My daughter actually purchased this one for me. This is um, Telfar by Ugg. So this is a collaboration with Ugg. And you can tell that they have different materials for all of them. And you can see by the one that I'm going to show you next. But this one right here has like the um, shirling on the outer linings and then of course you have like kind of like the ugg material on the outs um but yeah and then of course the shirling on where the telfar um logo is or whatever like that but it's a really cute bag um i wore it a lot during um you know christmas because i think that's when i got it or whatever like that so really really cute bag okay so last is actually going to be my telfar by ugg and this is going to be in the all-around shirling um and then of course you have the ugg material for the logo of telfar but i really like this one my husband bought this one for me and this one yeah i got for christmas or whatever like that again comes with a strap is not adjustable or detachable um but for the most part i always tend to hold it as a top handle and I have no issues or whatever like that when I do it that way so okay you guys so the very last designer <laughs> brand in my collection when it comes to my bag collection is Toy Birch I don't have too many um Toy Birch bags um I wish I did because I really really truly love um Toy Birch as a brand um like I said I think that's my second favorite designer so my top three are actually going to be um Kate Spade, Toy Birch, and then Coach so um I just really love the quality of the bags okay so this and I love the packaging like I love the packaging this is my Toy Birch Fleming clutch um and it's actually the same material you guys as the Chanel double flap so that kind of tells you something so the quality is really really good and you guys need to literally start investing <laughs> in at Tory Burch so you can't go wrong it's a beautiful bag and I really like it so next is my Tory Burch triple compartment tote I um have used this tote so much it has served its purpose and I have no complaints it's held up pretty nicely it is very dirty inside so I'm not going to show you um I think the only gripe I have with this one is the strap it's attachable, doesn't adjust, and it's very, very short. So I normally tend not to use it, but it's a great bag. All right, so I think one of my favorite... And I like the webbing, so yeah. All right, so next is a Toy Birch multi-stripe triple compartment bag, you guys. Um, this is really just... A top handle bag and that's how you're gonna carry her but I like the fact that you can either switch it to each side um, either side Tory Burch or you have the stripe on here with the embroidered um, Tory Burch on there so it's a really cute bag pebbled leather it's held up okay so last but not least and once again amazing amazing packaging so this is actually going to be the Safiano leather triple tote compartment bag and I adore this bag you guys I've used this for work I use this for everything you can see how slouchy the um, shoulder straps are um, they come off but I've never taken them off I like the bag I love the color um, you know it does have some wear and tear but I'm okay with that because this bag has held up so so good 
Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. So that is it. That is my entire bag collection. You guys, please let me know what you think. Just go ahead and like, comment, share. Let me know which bags you liked. Let me know if you have any of these bags, you guys. Let me know if you want to see more of any of the bags that I've showed you. I am thinking about selling some bags. And tell me how many bags you've counted. I know how many I have, but let me know how many you counted. Put it in the description box. That'll be like a little fun activity. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Like I said, like, comment, share. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.